Hey broskies, what's up? It's Sona. Welcome back to my channel. So I've came up with a fantastic idea for a video. I decided that I'm gonna draw you guys as Roblox avatars for free. That's right, you don't gotta pay me anything. You just gotta send me your avatars and I'm gonna draw them for free. I know, right? Crazy. So this is what I'm gonna tweet out on Twitter. Doing free art for fans. Private message me your Roblox avatars on the account Sona Stuff 2 and I will draw them. I made an alt account because I don't want my main to get flooded. But yeah, so that is what we're gonna be doing. And I know you broskies are probably freaking out. You're probably like, oh my god, Sona free art! <laughs> but it's actually not what you think it is. When people message me the Roblox avatar, I am technically gonna draw it for free. But I'm gonna draw it terribly. I'm gonna make it look disgusting as possible, okay? And when I send them the cursed image, we're gonna get their reaction on video. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. If you broskies are down for that, let's do it. All right, I just tweeted it. Oh God, I'm scared. Oh boy, oh boy, we have a lot of message requests, just as expected. <laughs> All right, now comes the time where we actually pick out the avatars to ruin. Who will be our first victim? Hey, it's all right if you draw my avatar. Sorry for bothering you, have a nice day. Uh, yeah, what is this? <laughs> okay, you know what? We're gonna draw this one first. Let's go, baby. All right, so let's get this started. So I imagine this bunny creature thing to be some kind of failed lab experiment. So that's the look that we're gonna go for. God damn it, this looks like Among Us. I kind of imagine the eyeball to just be bulging out of the head. That's what it looks like. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. This doesn't even look like a bunny anymore. It just looks like a walrus or something, bro. Bro, why is she built like that though? What are those arms? Okay, are we done with this? I think we're done. Boy oh boy, look at um look at this freak of nature right here. Our prompt was a failed lab experiment. I think we pulled that off pretty nicely. You know, to be honest, this avatar was cursed from the very beginning anyway, so we were kind of just adding on to that. All right, let's see how they feel about this picture. <laughs> it's so cursed. Oh wait, they messaged me back. <laughs> they literally just said thanks. <laughs> Why did they have such a normal response to this? Well, you know, at least they appreciate our drawing that we made. I'm pretty proud of it. I'm glad that they like it. You're welcome. All right, now let's move on to the next avatar. This is really cute. Oh my god. I actually really like this avatar. They said uwu. This avatar is pretty cute, but we're gonna make it just really creepy. That's the whole point of this video, so. Uh, for anyone who's actually seen them before, axolotls are really, really cute. So obviously this person is trying to look like a simplified version of an axolotl with you know the hoodie and stuff but we're just gonna make this look really realistic to the point where it's just unsettling to look at so instead of uh, referencing the actual avatar we're just gonna look up a picture of an axolotl this is gonna be really creepy actually okay this is a perfect reference okay they're not gonna be expecting this one let's get started model is a type of creature that it looks really cute in person but if you tried to draw it realistically it just looks cursed and so we're gonna make it smiling very widely I think this looks great so far speckles on the skin, not really sure what to do differently with that, so I'll just put it there to make it look realistic. Actually, no, let's give it some big fat pimples, bro. This is 
is random, but I've never actually uh, popped one of my pimples before. I just think it's kind of gross. I don't really get why people do it. Just let it go away naturally, you freaking weirdo. Or I use some kind of acne cream. I don't know. Just don't squeeze it and make the pus come out with your fingers. It's freaking gross. At this point, my channel might as well just be based around me terrifying children. I have accidentally created a sleep paralysis demon. Maybe this is why I haven't been invited to the star program. I think we've made this cursed enough. I think we're done. They're definitely gonna unsubscribe after this. Holy. I'm just gonna name the file Run. This is easily one of the most terrifying things that I've made. Oh dear lord. <laughs> This will haunt my dreams for weeks now. I love it. <laughs> okay, what avatar should we ruin next? Here's my violent mushroom. I hope I'm not too late. Well, this person just sent me a violent mushroom. Now I gotta draw it. You know what? I wanna see if we can make this mushroom even more violent. That's our goal with this one. <laughs> Dude, I'm putting way too much effort into this one drawing. I love it though. I'm gonna give him some blush on the cheeks, cause why not? He's got the sparkly eyes, but everything else is way too realistic. He needs some kind of cuteness. Guys, I think we're finally done with this violent drawing of a violent mushroom. I definitely put the most effort into this one so far, as you can clearly see. I was kind of going for the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure look, but I'm not really sure how that turned out. Alright, I just sent it to them. You know, for the story of this mushroom man, I kind of imagine that he used to be some sort of heroic soldier, and then his family got slaughtered, and he was never the same after that, so he kind of just became a hitman instead. He just couldn't bear the loss of his family. And the only way to ease his pain is to cause violence to others. But yeah, that was just my story about him, you know. We'll wait for this person to respond later, because I don't think they're online right now. Okay, someone just sent me this avatar of a banana with whatever face that's supposed to be. For some reason, I have the very strong urge to turn this banana into banana bread, because banana bread tastes really good. Yeah, let's make banana bread. No joke, bananas actually, you know, make me feel very sick. Even the smell of them makes me nauseous, never mind, like, actually eating them. I don't know why, but my body just cannot tolerate it. Welcome to the bread bank. We sell bread, we sell loaves. We got bread on deck, bread on the floor. Toasted. Bro, shut the f up. Listen. How do I make this look like actual banana bread? Because it, it just looks like a loaf of bread. Should I make it yellow? I guess I'll make it yellow. So now I just need a baguette and a brioche. We don't have either of those. You can get the gluten free white bread, the potato bread. What the f is gluten? Take that f out. It's gluten free. I don't care if it's free. Swear on your Yeezys. If you want to fight, we gonna fight. I think our banana bread turned out quite nice. I really hope they enjoy this banana bread. Oh, wow. There's a lot going on here. This looks very strange to me for some reason. The stance that your avatar has makes me feel very threatened. He, the, when, the, is, the. Now I feel more threatened. Well, let's draw it. Alright, so this guy quite literally has like a giant monster face on his stomach. So it would only make sense if I made him eating a child, right? Alright, let's do that. I kind of just realized that this type of body package is gonna be really hard to draw. I'm just gonna wing it.
Hi. Hello. What is that? <laughs> He's I'm eating dying. a child. Do you have anything to say to the the people watching? You're all noobs. <laughs> okay guys, please don't unsubscribe because of Gabe. He said it, not me. Alright, so I am finished with my drawing of a buff monster man consuming a child. So I'm just uh, gonna go ahead and send this back to the kid who sent this avatar to me. I know the avatar and the drawing itself are quite different, but I think that Jesus will appreciate it. Alright, I sent it. Hopefully this kid's parents don't see this and immediately call the police. Alright guys, well, uh, considering the amount of children that I have terrified throughout this video, the police are probably, you know, on their way to my house, so I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. <laughs> Dude, this post was probably, like, super misleading. There's a lot of people thinking this is bait, alright? But even though it's not what they're expecting, it's technically not bait, because I did draw avatars. Sus. <laughs> Prob bait. I smell huge cap. Gaming or something. But yeah, uh, anyways, thank you broski so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe because because I like to scare children. Smash the like button or also you'll be consumed by this. Also, be sure to follow my Twitter if you want to participate in this kind of stuff in the future because I do this sometimes and it's pretty fun. And with that, I'll see all you broskies in the next video. Bye!